Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4. Now, when Lenovo first showed this machine off to the press, I knew it was something that I would want to review and share with all of you, because it is unique to say the least. And the build they sent over for review retails for roughly $2,500 US dollars. I will include a link in the description. We've got an Intel Core i7-11800H processor, 16 gigs of RAM, a half terabyte NVMe SSD, an NVIDIA RTX 3060. It is a Max-Q for those of you that are wondering. And we have a 16-inch 2560 by 1600 resolution display. So it has a lot going on and uh, you can get this machine also spec'd out with a 3080 for those of you that are wondering. So it's uh, pretty exciting from a specification standpoint when you think about what has been put together here by Lenovo, something that traditionally would be a business only machine, but now we've got something that blurs the lines to say the least. So. Let's get the charger out, and we've got the machine out. Let's take a look at what this uh, looks and feels like. Um, power brick is in here. I'll just pop that out quickly. And this is a review unit, so it is already it's opened, as you may have noticed. 230-watt power supply. Let's take a look at the laptop itself. Um, it's thin and light for a 15-incher, and that is part of the appeal here. Uh, in addition to the fact that, of course, it's really versatile uh, in terms of having the uh, 3060 all the way up to the 3080 option. So ThinkPad X1 styling, as you would have already expected uh, because of the type of machine this is. Move over the power supply, and let's take a look at what uh, Lenovo sent over. So fit and finish. Uh, business as usual, and that's what you expect from a machine like this, right? I mean, that is the whole premise of what Lenovo is going for. Now, uh, on the I.O. side, also what I think you would expect, we've got a full-size SD card slot, two Type-A USB ports, Kensington lock, and then totally clean on the back. Uh, on the left side, we have our power port, uh, two Thunderbolt ports, an HDMI out and a headphone microphone combo jack. Mm -hmm. Ventilation all over the place, as you might imagine on a machine like this. Um, and it's, you know, it's well made. This is what you expect from Lenovo when you're thinking about a ThinkPad, uh, specifically uh, the X1 line. So open it up. We've got our classic uh, Lenovo uh, touchpad with the ability, of course, to have a dedicated right and left click something that they're not going away with. And of course, the dedicated mouse pointer uh, power button right here. Let's see if we have a charge. It looks like we do. So let's get this baby powered up. And you know, this isn't necessarily aimed, obviously, at gaming, even though we have an RTX 3060. And as I've said over and over, you can go up to a 3080. But if you want to travel light, still have a competent business, a business machine that can also get a little bit deeper, that's what this is going to provide. Uh, the touchpad is beautiful. It's a glass trackpad. It's smooth as butter, and the display is gorgeous. I can tell you that already right now. Let me go and angle that down. Um, it is a matte finish. Excuse the glare uh, that we're having a little bit of. Uh, the privacy switch right there that's all already enabled. Uh, really narrow bezels, which is kind of what you expect, I think, uh, from a machine that is uh, supposed to be bleeding edge even for business users. And it's just really nice. Um, we'll see what speaker performance is like. We'll see what battery life is like. Uh, this is running Windows 10 out of the box, not Windows 11. The estimated battery life right now is sitting at 2 hours, 17 minutes. I'm not sure that that's going to exactly uh, be the runtime. I imagine we're going to do a little bit better than that, to say the least. Uh, but it's a really nice machine. Uh, the keyboard, it's a classic ThinkPad here in terms of what you're going to get out of key travel and the Smile style keys. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with that if that's what you're after. Uh, the actual uh, brightness of the backlighting is, it looks good. You're not going to really see that with the studio lit up, but this is a nice laptop. Um, and the fact that it, again, has gaming chops, upgradability, these are all things that I think are ideal for a lot of customers. And there are a lot of customizations with this build. This particular model, I'm not sure if it's available direct from Lenovo right now. I know that um, per my rep at Lenovo, 
This is a CDW build specifically. So I'm going to do my best to link you to this for those of you that are interested. But again, this display is excellent. I mean, really, really nice. Uh, what I'm looking at here at least. And uh, I think you can go higher res, but I think this is a really good resolution. I mean, it, it, you can't really stress or fret about having this sort of res in uh, a machine like this. You know, 15 and a half to 16 inch displays, I think this is an ideal resolution. And again, with the GPU pairing, you've got that extra horsepower if you're doing anything with design software, um, architecture, rendering, this is going to give you a lot more juice than a standard business machine with a entry level GPU and you're not, you know, breaking the bank going up to a workstash, a workstation, excuse me, like the ThinkPad uh, P series uh, or competing machines that are all, you know, four or five, six thousand dollars, even more, depending on the configuration. So I think this is going to make a lot of business users happy. It's still fairly lightweight, still really thin and Again, it's a ThinkPad at heart, so what is not to like? I will be updating all of you and, of course, eventually delivering a full review. If you have any questions or comments on this, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.